I'm Trish with today's QOTD question of the day, and this one is for all of you who know that pets do the darndest things. We asked fans to tell us about a time their pet did something that made them mad, but later you just had to laugh about it. We've got a few fan answers coming up in a second, and we want you to join us by recording your very own answer and join us in the show. As fans record their answers, we add them to our all day show, and you can also check out our QOTD playlist to check out some of our best answers so far. And you can use the links in chat to vote for your favorite videos that helps them make it to the Thursday Big Show. Our first fan answer comes from Alicia, who knows an attention seeker when he sees one. This is something my cat still does occasionally, and I still sometimes get mad at it, but I still sometimes laugh about it afterwards. And it's, he'll jump up on the table when I'm trying to eat, and he sometimes gets fur in things. And it's really annoying, and he shouldn't jump up on the table, but I know that he just wants attention and affection, so I'll laugh about it later. Pets really are just like four-legged children, right? They do all these things that drive us crazy because they're curious or they're bored or they just want attention from us. And they can be really destructive and annoying, but we love them so much that, you know, it's all right in the end and it usually just makes for a good story. Why is it that when our dogs do something, we like immediately forgive them because they're, oh, they're so cute and everything. Like, but when our kids do something that's like just like that same thing, like, we never forgive them. We hold that against them. They get in a lot of trouble. Like, don't think they don't notice, because they do. I guess it's just maybe because humans are supposed to know better, and pets were like, oh, they just, they don't know what they're doing. They're just there to, like, keep us company and be cute and let us pet them. Uh, but it's also like they get mad at my pet for things that I don't think I would ever do, like walking into a creek and drinking the creek water or like running into bushes and getting seeds all over her fur. So I think it's like, yes, I could get mad if I was doing those same things, but I am luckily not doing that. I think drinking creek water would give me many diseases. Well, did you have a favorite fan answer that you wanted to highlight? So I found a very funny answer from Sean. I actually have a dog we got a few months ago. I've always had dogs and he's a little bit puppy. So I love it like that. We're able to chase him around and play a little physical faster. And I actually was able to catch him one time and I tackled him and I didn't realize he had gotten so scared. Well, he peed on me. So, <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> what dog hasn't, you know, gotten a little excited and lit a little bit out of their bladder once in a while? And even if the dog gets a little bit scared, sometimes the dog will still always like be by your side and want to play with you all the time. So the, my favorite is like when you, when you go away for a weekend or something like that and you come back and then there's the dog like commando crawling across the kitchen. He's so excited that he can't <laughs> even speak. And then constantly, every time, leaves it with like a trail of pee. Well, Keith, did you find an answer that you really enjoyed? Yeah, absolutely. Here's a one from Emma. It's a bit of a shaggy dog story. One day we decided to give my dog a bath on the same day that we had just um, trimmed the front lawn. So as soon as my dog got out of the bathtub, he ran straight to the front lawn. And then 10 seconds later, this beautiful white fluffy Shih Tzu, all nice and clean, comes happily trotting back, completely green and covered in dirt. So... Yeah, many funny pictures were taken that day. So Emma, you got to count yourself lucky that all it was rolling around in was fresh cut grass because you know dogs roll around in all kinds of stuff. There's this intrinsic behavior, of course, that they want to hide their scent by by kind of getting the environment in there. What you got to do is sort of dial back on the perfume shampoo, even on a Shih Tzu. But it's like, it's just so hard to stay mad when you just see your completely green Shih Tzu walk up to you. I can imagine it now. It's so funny. I don't think that anybody can get mad at this dog for anything. I do believe that the owner set this dog up for failure. I mean, I don't know what you were thinking by not making him stay in the house or blowing him dry or, I don't know, raking up the cuttings first. You just simply have to embrace the fact that your house is going to look like a train wreck, you know, for the life of that dog. And that's it. Well, fans, we have a lot of really great stories, obviously a lot of really hilarious fan answers. But if you have a hilarious pet story, please record using the links below and make sure to do so before our Thursday Big Show. But now I think the time has come for our answer. So Keith, starting with you, what is your hilarious pet story? So here's a story that I got to tell you, it's a gem, but it's not for the faint of heart. So let me set the scene for you. My wife has some friends over. They're wearing like pretty sundresses. They're sitting in the gazebo. They're drinking iced tea or something like that. Meanwhile, the dogs who are just messes, like great big bird dogs, 
we got them out into the woods to kind of keep them away and close the gate. Well, Sonny, the puppy, you know, he's only 95 pounds. The puppy <laughs> finds some way to climb over the six foot fence. I don't know how. And he comes running up and he drops something right in the middle of the party. And I don't know what it was, but we're all looking at it, looking at it, looking at it and realize it was about this big and it was red and it was splashy and it was the liver of a deer that he had somehow like found in the woods and dragged out of the carcass and brought it up and everybody was checking it out. And so there was like blood splashing everywhere. It was just a horror show and everybody was really mad. But in the telling, it became adorable, as you can tell. <laughs> I don't know if adorable is the adjective I would use. I don't have an outdoor pet anymore. I have an indoor cat, and I was bringing him home from my parents' house, so I had him in a little carrier. And just as I came in the front door with my hands full, I accidentally dropped the carrier. And when I dropped it, the door popped open. And the cat ran like a shot across the room hit a huge floor vase that my daughter had given me, shatters the vase. He went up like a Halloween cat and ran down the hall straight into the accordion door and broke a slat on that. And he just like, <laughs> laid there for two seconds. Nice gift of mine was broken. Now my door is broken. Um, and you're fine, of course. You know, he's off doing whatever. But it actually is so hilarious when I replay it in my mind, just how literally when you talk about bouncing off the walls, that's what happened with this cat. I have a very funny story related to the idea of leaving your food unattended around dogs because my dog is tall enough that she can get on kitchen counters and steal food off of it. Case in point, one time I ordered a pizza with garlic knots, left it unattended to take a shower. My dog swooped to not be up on the opportunity. I come downstairs, pizza's on the ground, garlic knots are over there, marina sauce stained all the way through the carpet. And I made her like sit down right where she was and watch me clean it up all the way through. Yeah, no, you should have made her clean it up. That would have learned her. Obviously, she didn't care for the pizzeria or she would have cleaned it all up. Absolutely. You know how dogs love garlic. Record your own answer using the links below and make sure that you subscribe, follow, or register. And that way you can get all of our new questions and announcements right in your daily feed. Yes, thank you everyone who's watched, voted, and recorded so far this week. Remember, the top voted answers make it into our Thursday Big Show, so vote and record away. And if you like what you're getting here at QOTD, you can say thanks to us by liking, sharing, or even just putting a comment on our channel. And if you really appreciate it, well, you can send us a thanks on YouTube if you're in the mood, and we would say grazie. And remember, fans, to answer today's question of the day, which is what is something your pet did that made you mad at first, but then made you laugh?